much indeed. Hello, I'm Nigel Redman and welcome to Birdless Point Brain, the show where the aim of the game is to avoid the obvious answers and find the obscure ones. This is the quiz where the, the lowest scorers are the biggest winners. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it as we go along as it's not dissimilar to a, a, a television quiz show with a very similar name. If it's not as slick as the, as the show on television, it's because it's the first time that we've done this at Bird Fair. Uh, and also it's live, so we don't have the luxury of being able to uh, edit it afterwards and get rid of the awkward bits. Uh, our budget was a bit smaller as well, but I hope it'll work well and I hope you'll enjoy it. So for the next 45 minutes, uh, let's play Birdless Point Brain. So without further delay, let's meet today's players. So couple number one are, and there's my list, Stephen and Ollie. Couple number two, Nick and Chris. Couple number three, Mike and Amelia. And couple number four is Martin and Andy. So these are today's contestants. Thank you very much, everybody. And uh, that leaves me one more person to, to introduce, a man so obsessed with, the point, with pointless questions that he volunteered to devise all the questions for the show today. And amazingly, he found 100 friends to provide the answers. <laughs> so it's my pointless friend, Neil Glenn. Well, Neil, what do you think? Well, nice I, much? I, I think there's a fine upstanding volunteers from the Leicestershire and Rutherland Wildlife Trust. Right. I should point out, in fact, that our four celebrities today are partnered with volunteers from the Leicestershire and Wildlife Rutland Trust, and you they said that. put their names. <laughs> thank you, Stephen. And they and they they were partnered with their uh, with their celebrities in in a very democratic fashion, picking the names out of a hat. So, uh, so what do you yeah. think? Well, we, you know, we've got Stephen Moss, we've got producer of Bill Oddie's Wildlife Programs, author of books, <coughs> winner of the Dillis Breeze Medal in 2009. There were short of candidates that year. <laughs> <laughs> we've got Nick Bugboy Rowan Baker. <laughs> the degree in Biological Sciences, researcher with highbrow fritillaries, badges and ring oozles. Presenter of the Really Wild Show, inspiration for lots of kids to get involved with books. Spring Watch on Sprung, nothing wrong there. Martin Hughes Games, first class honours degree in zoology. Producer of Spring Watch since 2006, presenter since 2009. Nothing wrong there, but Mike Dillinger? <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? <coughs> Mike Dillinger, did, did we not ask David Amber? <laughs> no, we tried. He was, he was out filming uh, Birds of Paradise, I believe. Ah, what about Packham? No, he's, uh, he's out uh, saving hen harriers. Ah. Well, sure, surely Spineless Sign must be available. <laughs> no, no, even Spineless Sign. He's, he's opening a supermarket in Swindon. I used to be a girl's bitch. I don't mind being anybody else's bitch. Ah. <laughs> well, OK, so Mike Doger, everybody. Now, the winner of today's show, we wouldn't want them to go away empty-handed, so we do have some prizes, uh, and uh, kindly donated by Wild Sounds, that's some books, uh, written by our celebrities and signed by them, uh, and also they'll achieve short-lived bird fair stardom if they win today's quiz. So let's, uh, right, if everyone's ready, let's play Birdless Point Brain. All our questions today have been put to 100 people before the show. So our contestants need to find the most obscure answers, the ones that the 100 people didn't get. So if uh, in the first round, I want an answer from each of you, but please, no conferring. Each, each one of a pair, you're answering individually, and the pair with the highest score at the end of each round will be eliminated. So can you all decide in your pairs who's going to go first and who's going to go second? 
in the first round, and please step up to the podium. Where's the podium? These are the podiums. <laughs> That up, does he want me to be? Okay, Nigel. Did you lose your glasses, Stephen? <laughs> that doesn't bode well, does it? <laughs> so my glasses are here. The first question is which Okay, so our first category today in round one is Garden Birds. Ooh. So the question is, please name any of the top 50 species recorded in gardens during the RSPB's 2015 Garden Bird Survey. I'll repeat the question. Please name any of the top 50 species recorded in gardens during the RSPB's 2015 Big Garden Survey. How many do you want? Just one, but remember, you've got to think of the one that the fewest people answered. So you're looking for the most obscure garden bird. And do you want me to say it? I do. <laughs> you never know, he said keep it secret from your partner and he's standing right behind me. No, you just can't confer with him, oh, that's all. Okay. It's as simple as that. <laughs> so, which species will you choose? It's all going terribly well. <laughs> you think so? Okay. Tree creeper. Okay, tree creeper. Stephen says tree creeper. Let's see if that's right. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, Stephen. <laughs> Just the answer we wanted. Well, Stephen, I'm afraid tree creeper is not one of the top 50 species. I'm really sorry. And that gives you 100 points. Tree creeper was 53rd on the 53rd, so not bad. Story of your life, really. Yeah, okay. Right, okay. So can we have uh, contestant number two? I'll do that. I'll push Chris up front. Okay, Chris. Uh, <laughs> So tell me, Chris, where, where, you're from round this way? Yeah. <laughs> Good. I'm, from, I'm local, from Stanford. You're from local. And what do you do when you're not volunteering at Bertha? I'm the conservation officer. Excellent. Hey. Conservation hey. officer. Brilliant. So you're, you're going to drop a job. Be embarrassing, so you're going to do well. All right. So which species are you going to choose? Dear. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be... In your own time. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> um, Grey Wagtail. Grey Wagtail. All right, Chris says Grey Wagtail. Let's see if that's right. It is right. Well done. Good. It's a good start. And it's going down well. Oh, Chris. Fantastic. Oh, brilliant. Well done, Chris. That's a brilliant answer. Right, roll over Stephen Moss. Welcome, Chris. Uh, so, Grey Wagtail was 50th on the list. Oh! oh brilliant. Okay. Excellent. Very good. All right, contestant number three. Who's going first? Uh, Mike. Oh, that's, that's Where are you from? Not very gentlemanly, is it, Mike? I'm from Chew Valley Lake. Chew Valley Lake. Six that boy now. Yeah, good. Uh, and the, and the bird I will choose, Nigel, is yes? Bullfinch. Bullfinch. Mike says Bullfinch. Let's see if that's right. It is right, well done. Oh, it looks not bad, not bad. Quite a good answer. 37. Okay, Mike, that's pretty good. Better than 100. Well done, Mike, thank you. And contestant number four? Oh, is that Andy? It's Andy. That was 20, 24th on the list. By 20, the way. Thank you, Neil. 24. 24th on the list, all right, that's brilliant. Also known as Gary, yeah. <laughs> all right, Andy. 37. <laughs> <laughs> we could put 73 on if you prefer. But, uh. Okay, right, Andy. Um, so where are you from, Andy? I'm from Leicester. I'm going to stop asking this question. You're obviously all from round here. <laughs> so what do you do, Andy? I want to get into conservation, but I'm a landscaper at the minute. Okay, great. Good. I hope you do succeed. And which species are you going to choose? I'm going to play reasonably safe and go for Siskin. Please. Siskin. Okay, Andy says Siskin. Let's see if that's right. Great technology, isn't it? It is right. Brilliant. Well done. It's going down old speed. Mike 31. Excellent. Fantastic. 
Well, we're halfway through the round now, so let's just have a quick look at the scores. Let's have a look at the scores. Uh, it's just a dream as well, this, isn't it? Good luck, Ali. So, so we've got a fantastic two there from, from Nick and... Uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Nick and Chris. I, I wanted name badges, but we couldn't have name badges. But Nick and Chris, good, excellent. Uh, Mike and Amelia are on 37. Ma Martin and Andy are on 31. And Stephen and Ollie, well, Ollie. Yeah, you've been saddled with a bad Yeah, good luck, Ollie. <laughs> Never mind. All right, Ollie. Okay, so. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Tree creeper. Such a result. Brilliant. Would anybody he... else have said tree creeper? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Two people in okay, this Ollie, room. Okay, Ollie, so what do you do? Uh, I'm an uh, ecological consultant. Ecological uh, Derby. Excellent, brilliant, yeah. good. Well, welcome to, to, to uh, Birdless Point Brain today. And which species are you going to go for? Um, uh, I think I'm going to go for a yellow hammer. Yellow hammer. All right. Ollie says yellow hammer. Let's see if that's right. It is right. Yes. Let's go. Twelve points to Ollie. Forty-fourth. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, Ollie, I can only apologise for being for your partner, but yeah, never mind. Better luck next time. Super. All right, but uh, contestant number two again, Nick. Welcome to Birdless Point Brain. Thank you. How are you feeling? Any? I, I'm sure you're going to pick a warbler, of well, course. I've aren't been you? showing up now, you see, so I've got to, I feel I don't want to let my let Chris down. Okay. I'm a bit nervous. Yeah, I'm hoping it's not all bird questions. Um, well, this one is because it's all yes. about garden birds. Uh, well, uh, yeah. uh, okay, well done. Well, what I should do is 102, so you're safe. <laughs> <laughs> um, Indeed. So, in fact, I kept, you are actually safely through to the second round. So know, you, you don't need to worry. So you can play it dangerously. <laughs> mm. You go for a point. Oh, go for a point. I need, I need to rush you. In your own time. Uh, Jackdaw. Jackdaw. All right. Nick says Jackdaw. Let's see if that's right. <coughs> it was. It was safe, and it is right. Actually, but not so bad. Forty-six. All right. Brilliant. Well done, Nick. Thank you. That's sixteenth on the list. Thank you, Neil. Sixteenth on the list. So not bad. Thank you very much. Amelia, welcome to Furtherless Point Brain. And what do you do? Um, I'm a student. Okay, You're a student? Newcastle. At where, sorry? Newcastle. Oh, okay. Newcastle. And what are you reading? Um, environmental management in my last year. Brilliant. Excellent. Good. And what species are you going to choose today? I think Garden I'm going with Goldcrest. Goldcrest. Amelia is going for Goldcrest. Let's see if that's right. It is right, of course, and it's going down 15. Brilliant. Yeah. Great result, she's right, right on the lips. Accident. Great result, and she got a hug from Mike as well. So, what's not to like? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So now for the final one in, in round one. Martin, welcome to Birdless Point Brain. Now, you're a, a virgin, I think, to a birth of a virgin, oh, yeah. I believe, in any ways. Oh, yes. Okay, fine. But, but, you've actually been on the real thing. I have, and I got kicked out with Michaela in the very first round. Excellent. <laughs> well, you only need to get not too many in order to... 81, thank you. 81. 81. So you need not too much pressure then. So which species do you think you might go for? I'll go for marsh tit. Marsh tit. Marsh tit. Well, that looks like it's a controversial choice, but it does live in my garden. Okay, let's see if it's right. Marsh tit. Oh, good, 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 good. 